if it is enacted into law, it would mean that, among other things, the Supreme Court would no longer have the power to overrule government or ministerial decisions that it deems to be unreasonable. Now, you see behind me, these are thousands of demonstrators that have assembled outside of the Supreme Court. They are out here once again because they are saying that if this bill passes into law, and if any part of the plan by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and members of his far right-wing coalition were to pass into law this judicial overhaul plan that's been proposed, that would mean that Israel would be taken off the road of democracy and that it would be put onto a road of autocracy. Uh, the situation for them is extremely dire. They say this is an existential threat to democracy in this country, and they say they will continue to come out as long as it takes to send a clear message. Many whom I've spoken with say even if the bill does pass, they are committed to continuing to come out. You also have well over 10,000 members of the reserves of different branches of the army, reservists, who are saying that if the bill passes into law, they will no longer report for service. Now that has caused a huge amount of worry among top military leaders who say that this could impact military preparedness in this country. Prime Minister coming under pressure from the protesters, also coming under pressure from, of course, members of military reservists, but he's also coming under pressure from members of his far right-wing coalition. They would like to see at least one part of his judicial overhaul plan, this bill, pass before the Knesset breaks for its summer recess. That will happen later this month.